Um, thank you. And we do have many, many goats and alpacas and llamas and donkeys and bulls and chickens and sheep. And we've had Anatolians for nearly 10 years. We work in really remote mountain situations. We graze animals to do fire breaks for the uh, fire department. We aren't on site. We leave them on the mountains. We have electric fencing run by solar batteries and we leave our dogs with our animals. We come back every day to feed our dogs and check our fences and give the dogs water and the goats water. But those lions are opportunistic and they wouldn't even think about it. Um, I have to say that the only times we've had a kill are when we have thought maybe we didn't need a dog this time and we were in Topanga on Skyhawk and for those of you who live in Topanga, might know where that is, and we put 50 goats up on Skyhawk at around 8 o'clock in the evening, and we thought we'd bring the dog back the next day, and I guess the lion was watching us, because, <laughs> because when we got there in the morning, the homeowner said, oh, you can't believe it, he already got three. So, um, but then we brought the dog in that morning and removed all the bodies, but boy, did he come back to look for those. He wanted them, or she wanted them, but the dog went really, really went at the fence of the lion. The fences were down. Dog really protected those animals. Dogs, these dogs are bred and love their job. They aren't pets. They really are amazing animals. We got all of ours for a breeder in Tennessee, and we have five of them. Uh, well, the first line of defense for the for the dog against the lion is the, is an intense barking and fence running. And uh, I don't know, I think Jeff at one point did have a camera on our fences. And you can see the lion just pacing alongside the fence, um, looking for maybe where the dog isn't, but the dog is everywhere. So, um, and usually one Anatolian can handle about 40 goats. So if we have more than that, if we take 100 or some up, we have to put two dogs on a job. We've done very remote jobs. So, um, we don't expect to lose an animal. It would be an utter fluke. And Westlake High School was another job where the lion came, jumped the fence, got in with the dog, and uh, fought the dog. So the dog fought for those goats. And they do bond very seriously to your stock. Um, and that's all I can say is that uh, my money's on the dog. And you can, you, can, <laughs> you can put up all the barns you want, but that does involve, you've got to go out at dusk and go, oh my God, I've got my babies away. You know, I mean, you've got to go out there and do it. Or you've got, no, you know, we got, we've got four dogs, Rosie and Thaddeus and Sabunma. I don't have to worry because the dogs are already on it. And I, I have cats. I have goats who are 17 years old who walk around on our land quite far, and have been walking around on that land since they were 10 years old. And I have not lost, and they're pygmy goats. And you know he's watching, but he is not coming down. So, um, I just, you know, if anyone's interested, I can certainly refer you to where they come from. But they are animals that love their jobs, and we really, you know, we have a big grazing company, and that's what we use, and the dogs are amazing. So that's it. <laughs>